Everyone, this is Gabriel from Blue My Mind. Today, I wanted to teach you about the consonate function in Excel. Uh, it could become quite useful depending on the application, and I figured I'd give you guys a scenario which I use it quite a bit for. The way to do this is basically we're going to create some cool functions to connect all this information as a phone number. So what you do is you choose the box that you'd like, you do equal sign, and you just type in C-O-N, and as you can see, it's a very popular command, so it shows up right at the top. So you choose it, press tab, then do control A. Now what you do is you start connecting the values within the box. So for example, let's say we want to do one and then box two and box three and box four and then we say okay and now it's connected this whole line together and what you can easily do as well is do control C for copy paste and just copy the whole formula below and as you can see it's copied everything minus the one. If you have the scenario where you want to just avoid them moving the box, then you can do the same thing. Equal sign, concatenate, tab, control A. So now we do value one. Make sure you click on it and you press and you press F4 and you see the dollar signs. That means it's locked in the value of that block. And now we can go and do the next item and the next item. And the next. So now when we do copy paste, it does the same thing but it adds the one each time. Now another thing you can do for this type of application, and hopefully it can help you as well. We do the same thing again. Tab control A is we do this, then in brackets negative, and then we do the phone number and then in brackets negative I gotta make sure we go to the next line so we got one two three and you can do this as many times as you want in case you're wondering and then finally four so now it actually looks like a phone number let me do the same thing here and you can see it, it works out pretty nicely now the opposite let's say we take this information should it ever happen that you want to actually remove the lines or any type of value. So basically you can highlight the data like this and you click on the data tab and you click on text to columns and make sure you choose the delimited. Click on next. Now these are all the options that this thing can do by uh, splitting the data. So in this scenario we just go over here, click on others and we'll put the negative sign. So as you can see it's already split things up. So once we click on next and finish that you can see that that function basically duplicated the same thing from up top. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions or any other things that I should touch on Excel, please leave the comments below. And thanks so much for watching.